<laughs> Hello and welcome to another exterior video where I work with my truck. Sometimes I'm successful, sometimes I'm not. And in today's video, I'm actually not gonna be working on my truck again, but I'm gonna be working on my, on my friend's exterior. I'm gonna be helping him finishing up installing the backup camera and most importantly, the AirB dual air compressor. So that should be fun. So this is the air compressor we're going to be installing. It's a dual ARB air compressor and this is a truck we're going to be putting on. You probably guys already saw this truck before. I actually met this truck first time a couple of years ago on uh, uh, coffee and rigs. And ever since we became a pretty good friends so now we're gonna figure out where we're gonna install it probably under passenger seat so gonna work on that mount it install it and i'm gonna show you how it all came out all right so this is the air compressor it's very heavy guys i think it's probably like maybe 10 pounds at least but it's pretty heavy so it comes with uh, air filters the rocker switch wiring harness the main wiring harness to go to the battery and more leads for air locker and whatnot we also got just in case some uh, heavy duty electrical wire in case we need to extend these wires and we got this nice uh, digital air deflator so we cannot wait to put it all in and to test it later on all right so our plan is to mount the air compressor on this shelf uh, you probably guys see that this shelf looks familiar because i have a similar shelf anyways <laughs> our plan is to build a bracket over here and mount the air compressor over here so we're gonna have to take all this out route the wires to here hopefully we have a way to do it but i'm just gonna try to recreate my way and yeah we'll see how that's gonna work out so now i'm working on creating the bracket because the plan is to mount the air compressor to the shelf sideways like that so gonna create a bracket for it and bolt it on in there so we build a small bracket over here that's where the air compressor is going to be mounted to. The bolts going to go through the frame of the shelf. And two bolts going to be over here. And the extra bolt over here on this little bracket that I welded over here. It's going to be securing over here. That way it's not going to wobble as you drive or anything. It's all going to be solid. It's all going to be secured. But now we're going to paint this. And while the paint is dry, we're going to be working on the wiring, the wiring harness bringing to the air compressor. So now we're working on the wiring. So unfortunately, this wiring harness is too short. So we are going to be extending it over with a heavy duty cable. The ground, we're just going to tie it over here. But this cable is going to run along the side of the frame. And then this cable, we got it over here. So I'm going to measure how much we need. going to cut it short, put connectors, and we're going to tie it to the battery. So now we're working on the wiring over here. I know it looks like a mess but we'll fix it all and organize it so this wire i'm extending the the wire for the rocker switch which goes all along the side of the truck and then we brought it over here so now this is the wire that i'm gonna make the connection over here all right and the shelf is back in place and as you can see the compressor is mounted over here with this custom made bracket and it's not going anywhere so the wires are all connected on this side. Now I'm just gonna work connecting the wire to the switch over there. And then it's almost time to test it. Much, much later. All right, so we did all the connection over here. We had to add this uh, coupler over here. I'm not too sure. Maybe we we're missing a part or something. So now we added a hose over here. We're gonna actually position the air compressor on this side, not over here anymore. Not to reduce any space on the shelf. So it's gonna be over here. So now we're gonna put it back on the bracket and start connecting all the wires and all the hoses back in place. All right guys, the uh, air compressor is mounted. Actually, originally it was, I mounted over here, but we decided to flip it to this side, not to reduce any space on the rack. So we also got this quick disconnect over here. It fits perfect here. All I need to do now is just get a coupling from here and screw it in between. But just to show you guys, it's working. Gonna go flip the switch. So I'm gonna flip the switch. And as you can see, it's working. It's working. So gonna finish up the wiring over here, get this connection, 
and it's all done all right guys uh compressor is installed and over here we had to macgyver some stuff we put a big washer over here and this feeding but this all worked out in the end so now the switch is on if i connect this it starts working it starts working and then the pressure switch kicks in and it shuts off the power so now we can connect it to the tire fill up the tires and do whatever we need and of course to disconnect this just hold this and push it back just be careful it has a lot of air pressure in there and that's it this is done i think this came out pretty good guys two thousand years later It even works. Alright guys, an air compressor on my friend's truck is installed. Unfortunately it's too late, he had to leave, but the installation is complete. I think everything came out pretty good. I hope I didn't miss any important steps, but if you have any questions, just always feel free to ask me. I just answer them to you, what was done there, to the best of my abilities. I don't have that compressor on my truck, but I'm still gonna include the links to the parts that were used in there, in case you guys were wondering, in case you guys wanna get it as well. So I hope this video might be helpful for you guys as well, in case you were wondering. And I'm gonna try actually to see if I can compare next time when I meet with my friend, to see how long it's gonna take his compressor to fill up the tires i think that's gonna be very fun and interesting to see so on this note i hope you guys enjoyed this video i hope you might find it helpful and as always until next time everybody bye